Another annoying mid-war Soviet event for the U.S. player, Allende is one of the cards that helps the Soviet player into South America. We will look at the best way to play it here on Legendary Tactics. Allende is one of a few cards that gives the USSR easy access to South America. It's definitely a card that the US player needs to mitigate, but how big of an impact will it really have in a game of Twilight Struggle? Let's find out now. First of all, the event. Allende is a Soviet one-op mid-war starred event card. Playing the card for the event gives the USSR two influence in Chile. For the USSR, this card can get you into South America without needing to coup, which is normally a bit of a challenging area to access for the Soviets. Unless a country like Colombia or Uruguay maybe has your opponent's influence and is therefore open to a coup, the region is pretty much locked down at DEFCON 2. There are some other cards that can do it, like Junta or Liberation Theology, but Allende has the advantage of being non-spaceable, if that is a real word. Well, maybe it is in Twilight Struggle at least. Unless the US has containment in effect, they're going to be stuck with playing it eventually. As it is worth only one operations point, taking the event is generally a very easy decision for the USSR. The only problem is that the two influence placed are vulnerable to realignment roles, especially as the US might be particularly focused on kicking you out of South America and keeping it for themselves. If you are already in South America, obviously Allende loses a bit of its benefit. The two influence are still valuable, but the board situation might dictate that it would be better to take the operations point to keep it in the deck. This way, you can potentially have it come back in the late war, when it might be more useful both in improving your situation in South America, as well as clogging up the American hand. Because it's relatively remote, circumstances or your strategy might dictate that you would play into Chile later anyway. Allende is great insurance against the US expansion there if South America is contested. Don't forget that there's another late war card, Iron Lady, that can help you get into South America, specifically Argentina, so make sure that is part of the overall plan. If you think the South American scoring card is coming soon though, don't wait around for Allende and just spend the ops you need to take over Chile if it helps you. Don't miss out on an opportunity while you wait around for this event to turn up. If you don't mind giving up your first round battleground country coup, headlining Allende, and then following up with placing some influence right away in Argentina and Chile, might not be a bad move, especially if the US is not really in South America yet. This is a play best done at DEFCON 2. You may have to wait until after the US uses their first action round for a battleground country coup, so you're not as vulnerable to a coup in Argentina. And for the US player, you have a few options with this card if you get it. First of all, you can over control Chile using the op provided by the card if necessary to shore up your position before or after the event. And you can also take control of Peru and Argentina and then easily realign the influence provided by this event off the board. Even if you can't take Peru and Argentina ahead of time, there's still some chance that you can realign the influence out using the operations point provided by the card. Or you can just hold on to him. I've had games where I've had to keep him in hand for a while, especially if the Soviets are having a tough time getting into South America. I see no reason to make it easier for them. So for the Soviets, this is a great card to help you gain access to South America, even if it is a little bit precarious. But take the operations point if you don't see the event providing you with an immediate benefit. And for the US, this card is going to be a pain in your side. At some point, you're likely going to have to suck it up and play it, so see if you can maneuver ahead of time to set up a realignment or otherwise challenge control of Chile with straight influence placement. This has been our analysis of the Allende card in Twilight Struggle. 
We hope you got some value out of this video, and if you did, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here on Legendary Tactics.